Hey, hey, so in this video, I wanna be showing you some sites where you can get some logo design jobs as well as other design related jobs. <laughs> And just want to put a disclaimer out there, I don't always recommend going on these sites, but it's okay if you're just starting out and you want to learn and you want to grow, because sometimes these sites are just contests and you actually don't get picked and you may not make any money. So except for the first two sites, which is Airtasker and OneFlare, they're Australian based uh, sites where you, one person gets picked, so it's not like a contest. Um, and I think that is probably the better option than doing a contest based site because then you're just gonna waste your time and feel like you're not getting any benefit. But it's good for practice, and if you're purely a beginner and just starting out, then it's okay um, to jump on these sites. But yeah, if you wanna get high paying clients and be a designer as a career and run your own business, then you can't use these sites forever. And you know, you gotta start doing other methods of promoting yourself and putting your work out there. So let's jump into it. First one is airtasker.com. I've used this in the past, and sometimes I use it here and there. It's actually pretty good. Um, obviously it's like a lower budget client. Sometimes you get people looking for actual full-time designers or like an ongoing basis, but there's so many different categories as well. It's not just design. It's like everything like handyman stuff, pest control, painting, lawn mowing, like whatever. But, um, yeah, really good. Especially if you're like international student studying or maybe in Australia, I want to make some extra cash, then check out Airtasker. The second one is one flare. You have to register your business. So actually I think you need an ABN. Um, you can be a sole trader as the minimum, which is fine. But yeah, it's similar. Um, you know, people need stuff done. You get a quote and then they hire you. And it works similar to the other websites. But yeah, this is a more uh, professional site, I I'd say. Um, and yeah, it's a lot. It's, you know, you need, need some good reviews and it has a good design and stuff. So number three is 99designs.com. So this one... Obviously, sites like 99designs and Upwork, they already have a lot of people on there, so they, you might not even get accepted on it as an account. Um, so, and yeah, there's like set prices for projects. So people will pay a set price and then you do like the identity or print design or if it's a web design, whatever. So you can definitely, you know, do logo design here. So if I click logo design, um, you can see here, so people post logos and it's more of a contest based um, thing that they work with and here's just how it looks like so you can see some of the pricing tiers like the lower end is 400 the higher end is 1800 there's another one called designcrowd.com.au so I think this is Australian based as well and if you go through you can get all these different designers so it's actually it's global they got look heaps of designers from everywhere so if I search logo design click on that category you can see some of the stuff here and I'm pretty sure this is a contest based as well. You can see people's profiles, you know, there's reviews, there's money earned and all that stuff. You can also go see how it works. Launch project get designs and, and yeah, you can take a look at it, but yeah, that's another site. And then there's Upwork, probably heard of this one before. The talent you need, the flexibility you want. <laughs> Yeah, so there's this is very crowded. A lot of people are already on here, so you might not even get be able to sign up an account. So it's design and creative there. Similar things, people bid. So a client gets a bid from the designers and then they just select it. Um, and then you can see some of the pricing there. That's pretty cool. Another one is freelancer.com. Same sort of thing. You can do all types of different work. It's not just design. But you can see there's a lot of graphic design stuff, flyers and whatever else. Um, plenty of crazy stuff on here. And it works similar to like Upwork and 99 designs, very similar. Then there's Fiverr. Fiverr is another big popular one. A lot of people use it these days. Um, I actually kind of like the UI they, they updated and they did update it. So you can do logo designs. You can see here, it's one of the first tabs there. The post content and stuff. So yeah, you can become a seller on there and <laughs> don't sell logos for $5. <laughs> you can if you want, it's up to you. But uh, but yeah, once again, lower budget stuff. It's okay to practice. Um, but you know, do your best design. Don't just put out rubbish there and give clients just whatever. You know, put your best effort um, and grow as you can, much as you can. But yeah, that's just another option to make some cash. And then there's Guru. 
I think this is sort of a newer one. Um, feels like a bit like Fiverr to be honest. But you know, you can do logo design, different services. It's got support. You can post a job and then they you can get hired. Different pricing styles. And yeah, that's super interesting. So that's Guru. Um, but yeah, those are the main sites that you can go on to you know get some logo designs, make a bit of money, um, and grow. But once again, I recommend it only if you're starting out. Um, it's probably better off to not even join these sites and focus on building your network locally um, and doing fake concept projects um, and then putting it out there on social media and doing your best work and just learning off the, off the top people, experts in the field. But yeah, that's just my advice. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more places where you can find some cool jobs or cool things and I'll post it. So thanks again. I'll chat to you next time. Thank you.